supers. I'm going to demonstrate a new project that I just finished. This is my Troy built 515 edger which I modified to run on propane. It previously was a regular 29cc gas engine. The reason why I modified it to run on propane is because the uh, exhaust from this thing was very very nasty and uh, it would give me headaches all the time. So I like the propane because it runs a lot smoother and it also runs cleaner. Uh, so I'll show you how this thing works. Okay, here's my propane fuel. This is a one uh, pound uh, Worthington cylinder. And these things are, um, you know, just commercially available. You can buy them off the shelf. Um, I actually have a way to uh, refill these things also. So you'll see some videos online where other people refill it the same way. Um, this is a uh, uh, copy of an Imco Model J regulator. This one I think is a Chinese made copy. It's made by some company called Century Fuel. And um, it, the reason why I chose this is because it's the least expensive one that I could get. Um, this is our uh, gas intake, excuse me, gas input. It can take uh, anywhere from 30 to 312 psi and it regulates the output right there down to um, a negative one and a half inch water column. So that means that there has to be suction on this line to uh, feed into our carburetor. This uh, is the regular uh, carburetor that came with this thing and I took off all the fuel parts and used a uh, plastic um, hose barb, one eighth inch hose barb with an O-ring on here so it would feed the propane directly into the uh, venturi of the carburetor. This part right here is a um, uh, aquarium uh, inline air control valve. This is actually aquarium tubing too. The reason why I chose the 316th air aquarium tubing is just because that's easily available and it's very, very inexpensive. So let me show you how this thing works. Okay, so first of all, make sure that my throttle is in the slow position. I'll close the choke. Press the primer bulb once. And we'll see if it's going to start. Notice how slow this thing is idling. We really love how slow it idles. They say it's a lot of fuel, but it still has a pretty good range. It has really good power. still retains the same engine controls that previously had. I can still shut down using this, valve, using this um, ignition pedal. There you go. That's it.